Chanda Kochar has finally quit. Chanda Kochar's retirement application has accepted by the board of directors. And now what we are also breaking in Ashwarya is uh, with us on phone. And Ashwarya, over to you, which means that we are going to have a new CEO as far as ICI Bank is considered as she's all set to retire. And that is something which has been accepted. Yeah, well, absolutely. At this point of time, Chanda Kochar has or rather Chanda Kochar's resignation has been accepted with immediate effect. Uh, and then Sandeep Bakshi, we are being told, is going to be the new CEO. Uh, yes, Sandeep Bakshi is going to be the new CEO of the ICICI Bank. We are being told uh, that the board of directors of the ICICI Bank Limited have accepted the request of Chanda Kochar to seek an early retirement from the bank at earlier. The board, uh, this is the official statement which is going to come out in the next few minutes itself the bank and that the board has accepted this request with immediate effect. So the board is in turn giving, a, a, we could say, a respected way out to, uh, to, uh, to uh, Chanda Kochar. And Sandeep Bakshi is going to be the new CEO, uh, is going to be the new CEO of ICICI Bank. They are giving a respected way out to uh, Chanda Kochar. Once again, I am uh, repeating, this is going to be the statement, official statement, which is going to be released in the next few minutes by okay. the ICICI Bank, and it states, Sakal, that the Board of Directors of ICICI Bank Limited yes. have accepted the request of Chanda Kocha to seek an early retirement from the bank at the earliest. The Board accepted this request with immediate... Mm -hmm. Yes, Ashwarya, uh, stay with us. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, stay with us, Ashwarya. How crucial is this development, especially coming close on the heels when there's already an inquiry uh, uh, on, oh, on, on Chanda Kocher. Earlier there were a lot of talk about she being on leave, the charges of impropriety, the charges of favoritism, etc. Well, Sakal, this is very, very significant because it is not only limited to Chanda, uh, Chanda Kocher, but then the fact that her husband and uh, brother-in-law were also questioned by, uh, by the Indian agencies um, is something which uh, showed that there was a quid pro quo uh, in uh, in her case, and that in turn was adversely impacting ICICI Bank. And that is exactly why the board had met thrice prior. But this time around, they had, a, if so, that you believe, they had given her an ultimatum that either you resign or we'll take a decision in the board meeting. So she has chosen a, a, a better way out, if, uh, if we could say so, and a respected way out has been given, a respected exit has been given to Chanda Kochar, but the agencies would continue their complete investigation in this matter because the quid pro quo was somewhere or rather prima facie coming out between her and her uh, brother-in-law. So we have MR, political for. analyst MR Venkatesh joining us on phone line. Ashwarya, I'm also requesting you to please stay with us, Mr. Venkatesh. Your quick reaction, uh, Chanda Kocha's uh, resignation has been accepted, but now clearly the focus mostly shifts to the investigations. Absolutely, because uh, I think this is this was long overdue, and uh, Chanda should have quit long back, and uh, at least the board should have <coughs> taken a proactive step to ease her out. Now that uh, it has happened, I think the focus, as you very rightly said, uh, shifts to the uh, probe agencies, especially the ED, because this is a matter that has to go right up to the uh, enforcement directorate to look into whether the charges of money laundering that are also mm -hmm. being made in the financial circles are, are legitimate or not. So this is, this, this is going to be yet another uh, uh, acid test for all of us, especially those in the financial circles, to find out whether we, the, the Caesar's wife will be above suspicion or not. And in this case, uh, there, were, there were a lot of rumors about uh, 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 the uh, corporate governance being flouted. And this is where the SFIO, the CBI, and the Enforcement Directorate had to put their foot down, do a thorough uh, probe, and then come out with their findings, and it will be done pronto. It, it, it should not be left to drift. We cannot allow our uh, financial markets, especially a bank, to have to be having uh, to be operating in a cloud. This is the time where people have to act proactively and do the needful. Hmm. Mr. Venkatesh, stay with us. Uh, uh, well, just a quick background, uh, sir, to put in perspective. This, don't you think this case was stretched a lot because uh, uh, she, she wanted to first go on an indefinite leave. There were uh, 
efforts to derail the investigation, to slow the investigations down, the charges of favoritism, serious charges of improprieties uh, slapped against her and allegedly against her husband, all of that. Now, this investigation, these investigations by the agencies will track a lot of momentum henceforth. It's taken so long to even ease her out of the bank. Uh, probe agencies should have uh, descended on the bank uh, six to eight months back. And I don't know what they are doing. And in, in this country, though, always we say that the law operates for everybody on equal footing. But some are more equal than the others. And uh, there are some uh, blue-eyed babies of uh, the financial sector, the RBI, the cities, and uh, other uh, other agencies, where uh, whatever be the uh, evidence that okay. is coming out in the public domain, they are held to be uh, held to be not guilty even before the probe starts. So some, something is something has to be done, and I hope. Uh, the agencies do take this matter to a logical conclusion at, at the best, at the earliest. All right. Uh Mr. Venkatesh, we can also tell our viewers at this point that there is a letter which has been released by the company secretary Ranganath Atreya of the ICICI Bank, clearly stating two big things, sir. First, that uh, this has been the decision taken at the meeting uh, today of, uh, uh, as far as the board of directors of ICI Bank is considered, they have decided that they will accept the request of Ms. Kocher to seek an early retirement from the bank. That's number one. Point number two. They've also in, uh, uh, mentioned that the inquiry instituted by the board will remain unaffected by this and certain benefits will be subject to the outcome of the inquiry. Clearly stating that the inquiry will have whatsoever no impact as far as her going for an early retirement is considered. She is also relinquishing from the office as a board of directors of the bank subsidiaries. That's what the letter says. Your thoughts on this? See, that's a technical one. This, this is not. This is this is for the public consumption. What is for what is for everybody here to know is mm. a, whether the sweetheart deals did go through, and it doesn't take somebody to investigate for more than six months, and whether she was in the know of it, whether she was influencing those type of sweetheart deals between ICICI Bank and Videocom. That's the question. And other 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 uh, companies where her husband was uh, having some sort of a financial arrangement. So that is the key question. Prima facie, mm. everywhere, everybody to whom I have spoken to say yes, she was in the know. She could not have been uh, oblivious or ignorant about those deals. Now this is where I don't see why this type of uh, you know uh, very soft letters are coming out. Of course, these are for public consumption. But I'm sure that the focus is not on the internal uh, the probe mechanism okay. of the ICC bank. It has to be taken to now SFIO, RBI, CBI. All the three have a lot to answer to us. And it is time that they, the probe agencies, the real probe agencies, tell us what is happening within ICC. Very uh, much appreciate uh, your thoughts on this story, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Venkatesh, for talking to Republic TV. If you can go back to that letter that has been released by the company secretary of ICICI, clearly stating that uh, the outcome, this has been the outcome of today's uh, meeting. The board of directors of the ICICI Bank Limited not only have accepted the request of retirement by Chanda Kocher, she, remember, had sought an early retirement from the bank at the earliest. All this amidst an inquiry by the agencies uh, against uh, the charges of uh, favoritism, impropriety and uh, financial embezzlement. In fact, Shavan, our senior news editor, who also tracks agencies, joining us for more. A little bit of backgrounder, the nature of charges slapped against Chanda Kocher and her husband allegedly. And how crucial is this development? Sh uh, Shavan. Well, in fact, Sakhal, the Central Bureau of Investigation has already started a preliminary inquiry as far as the allegations that, that have been levelled uh, against Chanda Kocher and her family members. But remember, this is only a preliminary inquiry that has been initiated. Now, coming back to this particular letter, the letter that has been uh, uh, signed by the company secretary, which is basically in acceptance of the resignation of uh, Chanda Kocher, which clearly says that the board of directors of ICICI Bank has accepted the request of Chanda Kocher to seek early retirement from the bank at the earliest. The board accepted this request with immediate effect. The inquiry instituted by the board will remain unaffected by this and certain benefits will be the subject to the outcome of the inquiry. 
Ms. Kochar also will also relinquish office from the board of directors of the bank's subsidiaries. To put this in perspective, Sakal, the fact mm. is that the Central Bureau of Investigation is looking into the charges that have been leveled with regards to a quid pro quo. As far as Chandaj Kochar is concerned, remember there is no direct link at this point in time and it's only the family members which have been under the scanner of the Central Bureau of Investigation. <coughs> Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Shavan. Uh, we'll revisit the story in a bit, but we've got some more breaking news coming in right now. And uh, as we go back to the next breaking, uh, Shavan uh, was basically talking about the formal communique that has been released by the company secretary and the compliance officer of ICICI. If Shavan can continue talking on this breaking, we have him. Uh, Chanda Kocher's resignation has uh, been accepted. The ICICI management clearly stating that this development will have no effect as far as the investigations are considered. Investigations will continue.